Beach House Gaming! Thank you guys so much for coming back. Today we're going to be continuing our adventure of playing Zelda Link's Awakening. I'm in the Bottle Grotto getting ready to explore this second dungeon and figure out what kind of item I might find. And I think it's going to be some type of a glove to lift maybe the, and smash these pots. Let's jump right in, shall we? Okay. So I had to light these. I lit, I lit these in the last video using the magic powder, and that took me forever to just figure out how to do. But since I figured that out, now I can start actually playing through the dungeon. And the first key appears. That was just a key. Oh, the beaks don't transfer from one to another. Bummer. The heck? Where are you? Oh, I'm on top. That was funny. Okay, let's open this chest. Another key! I like how many keys you get in the dungeons in this game. It's fun. Well, that's nice. Three keys! What was that? Look like lift. Oh, lift. Got it. No, I still can't lift those. Well, I'm not going to push those around. I know, I need to find the beak. Maybe I have to push these in. Let's see if that does it. Something. A way down appears. I need three hearts. Ah! Oh gosh! There we go. <laughs> oh, monster! Ah! What a rude dude. Come on! Come on, no, no, no! Whew. Got him! That guy's mean! Now, I have a fairy already, so I'm just gonna take this one. But I feel like I'm getting close to the boss. Like, am I already... Almost at the end boss? I feel like that's way too soon. I barely just started this dungeon. But maybe I just like skipped everything in the dungeon. Ah, 
Aha, I got the map. So I can't be that close to the end boss if I just barely got a map. <laughs> oh, shoot. I like how they offer me these little bags of magic dust or whatever. I think that's kind of cool. They don't do anything to the pots, do they? Okay. I had to check. I don't need it. Here we go. Nope, that doesn't do anything. But they don't like the light. A chest! What is that? I knew it! The power bracelet, now you can pick up pots and stones. I knew that's what I was gonna get in this dungeon. Yep. Can you tell I've played a lot of Zelda games in the world? <laughs> yeah! Because uh, yeah, I know the pattern of this game by heart. Except not very many games give you the rock's feather. There's been a few though. I'm trying to remember the other games that give you the rock's feather. I like that I can walk on top of them. Oh! I did not even see that hole there. I thought it was a wall. I am not very observant. Come here, Mr. Aggressive. Two can play this game. I'm gonna explore this room real fast. It's nice having the map because I know if it's a dead end or not. Got him! A way down appears, so it's not a dead end. I have to. I have to destroy all the pots. Oh, fairy! I'll take it. Do I have to take a pot with me on that? And I just got done destroying all of them. I think the I think I have to have a pot with me when I go on that. Let's see. Okay, here we go. Oh, great. So I found the boss, but I'm not ready to face it. Nowhere near ready. I guess I found the item of the cave, but I still don't have the boss key, so I'll have to come back here later. Sometimes I wish they give you the, uh, like the map and compass sooner, so you don't wander around the entire dungeon looking for the boss too soon.
Yeah, I saw the stairs. I just thought maybe I'd get something good for beating all the bad guys. What the? This is straight up Mario. With a sword. I got a piece of power. Yeah, I know. Okay, where do I go? There's a lot of places I missed. I'm gonna warp. Can I warp? Okay, good. <laughs> I can teleport! No, I can get this chest! Ooh, 50 rupees, very nice. Okay, now let's see what's over in this room over here. Oh. Okay, I can get a I can get across. The beak. I think that's all I get from here is the beak. So, let's see, I got the beak. Okay, there's one, one more place. But wait, I don't think I have a key to go down. Which way? Where do I go? Maybe there's a beak, beaked creature that will give me a secret. I need another small key. Where do I get another small key? Part of the floor is raised. Tap the shining crystal. Yeah, I knew that much. supposed to do here there's gotta be something about these guys maybe if I kill the shy guys There's got to be a way to do this. There we go. Aha! There it is. Now, can I go back around and get it? I wonder. Will it still be there? Okay, good. Whew! Almost jumped off. I feel like this dungeon's a little bit more of a puzzle challenge than the last one, for sure.
Okay, so now is this one gonna give me the compass? I feel like I'm gonna get a compass out of this, but that seems a bit anticlimactic. Unless the compass leads me somewhere else that I need to go. I did use the beak on the other one, yeah. And a chest! I knew it was the compass! Okay, so, now that I've got that, where's, okay, there's a chest I missed. Got it. Okay, wow, I'm almost done with this dungeon. I did the beak already on that one. I already did the beak on that. I don't think I'm gonna get anything out of this one, but I'm gonna check it anyway. Knew it! Ouch! Why do I have to just walk right into him? <laughs> I think I would be more careful. After everything I've been through. Killing bats with pots is not an easy thing to do. First to feed the imprisoned Paul's voice, last the skeletal Stalfos. like that's a clue the I just got a clue for a different part there we go now where's this chest okay this is, there's a chest just below here Okay, this is it. First to defeat the imprisoned Paul's voice. Right? That's this guy. Dang it. So, I think he said first to defeat the imprisoned Paul's voice, is that right? Let's see if this is right. Okay, I have to remember the pattern. So I'm gonna do bunny first. Then, bat. Then, skeleton guy. Haha! Got it! So it's just a pattern I had to follow. I had a feeling there was more to this room. Okay, now... Ah, oh, where do I go now? Now I think I go in here. Oh, I need that heart. Can I go down the pipe? No. <laughs> I had to try. 
Just in case, you never know. Okay, I'm not where I thought it was gonna take me. Oh, I need to go back. Dang it, that's not where I need to be. I actually need to go up from here. I need to go up because there's a room up here with a ladder that takes me to the final boss. I think. Yes, this is it. Okay, I think I'm about done with this whole dungeon. That's great. I'm making good time. Why not? Oh, the pot's gone. <laughs> Here we go. It's boss time. What the? What is that? Oh no, an evil clown genie. Ho ho ho, I'm the bad guy this time. Ho ho ho. Genie. You right? He's juggling fireballs. Why not? Oh, I can't move, but I am still all right. Your little sword won't break this bottle. Even the walls here look tougher than that dinky thing. I think I have to throw, I have to dodge the bullets. Then I have to throw him at the wall. Shield doesn't work. It cracks every time it hits the wall. Here we go. Haha. -ha. He has no more lamp. You broke my bottle. Why you you make me hopping mad? Got him! Yes! I got the genie. I didn't even die. I didn't even have... To, yeah, he only killed me two and a half hearts. You got a heart container. Yay! I have six hearts now. And I got the magical conch shell. You got the conch horn! That's two. That's two of the seven. Prairie, prairie. The prairie is waiting. Okay, guys. That's right. Now it's time to hit up the prairie. But today, I'm saving the game. That's it for Beach House Gaming today. We had a ton of fun. We beat the second dungeon. We got five more to go. Now, I don't know if that's gonna be the end of the game. That'll be five more hearts, which put me at 10 hearts. This might not be like a super long game, but uh, I'm having a ton of fun. I thank you guys for joining me. More Beach House Gaming coming this week and next week as we continue playing and finishing this game. Stay tuned. Pause the game.